वेलकम बैक टू मेडिक क्लास फेशियल आर्टरी फेशियल आर्टरी इज द चीफ आर्टरी ऑफ द फेस दैट सप्लाई द स्किन एंड मसल्स ऑफ द फेस इट इज ऑल्सो द ब्रांच ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल कैरोटिड आर्टरी इट हैज इट्स ओरिजिन फ्रॉम बिटवीन द हाईड बोन एंड द बेस ऑफ द मैंडेबल दिस इज द ग्रेटर कॉर्न एंड जस्ट सुपीरियर टू दैट फेशियल आर्टरी अराइजेस फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल कैरोटिड आर्टरी मूव इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड रन अपवर्ड्स so it winds its way in front of the external carotid artery through the cervical region and enters the face so the facial artery has two parts cervical part in the region of the neck and the facial part on the face in the cervical part the facial artery has its course from the external carotid artery running anteriorly behind the posterior belly of digastric muscle and the stylohyoid muscle runs upwards and behind the ramus of the mandible creating a groove over the posterior border of the submandibular gland it also creates an s shaped bend lingual to the mandible the first bend is directed downwards with a convexity pointing upwards over the posterior part of the submandibular gland and the second bend pointing upwards and the convexity pointing downwards along the base of the mandible and approaching onto the face the facial part of the facial artery enters the face by piercing the deep cervical fascia it passes anterior to the masseter muscle at the antero inferior border of the masseter muscle runs upwards in a tortuous way and moves forward to reach to the angle of the mouth so this picture summarizes the origin and course of the facial artery the facial artery arises from the external carotid artery behind the posterior digastric muscle and the stylohyoid muscle runs upwards behind the ramus of the mandible over the submandibular gland creating a s shaped bend piercing the deep cervical fascia and reaching onto the face so branches of the facial artery the branches on the face are the inferior labial artery that supplies the lower lip the superior labial artery that supplies the upper lip the lateral nasal artery that supplies the ala of the nose and the dorsum of the nose the angular artery the branches in the cervical region facial artery in the cervical region gives rise to four other vessels before continuing its course onto the face the ascending palatine artery that supplies the tonsils the superior constrictor muscle of the pharynx and the auditory tube the tonsillar branch that supplies the palatine tonsil the submental artery that supplies the submental muscle and skin over the submental region and the glandular branches that supply the submandibular gland anastomosis of the facial artery the facial artery forms anastomosis anteriorly at the midline with similar branches of the opposite side posteriorly it forms anastomosis with the branches of the transverse facial artery and along the medial angle of the eye it forms branches with the ophthalmic artery the development of the facial artery occurs during the fourth and fifth week of embryonic life it arises from the aortic sac which gives rise to the aortic arches the external carotid artery develops from the third aortic arch and gives rise to the facial artery the function of the facial artery is to supply the palatine tonsils the soft palate the pterygoid mylohyoid and the digastric muscles along with the muscles of the face the submandibular gland the skin of the face and the dorsum and ala of the nose it provides oxygen and nutrients to these areas there are certain complications associated with the facial artery since the face is rich in vascular the wounds of the face bleed profusely mainly due to the injury to the facial artery but fortunately they heal quickly hemorrhage from the facial artery can occur during submandibular gland excision external approaches to mandible fracture can repair and require ligation of the facial artery vascular supply of various flaps including the local flaps regional flaps or free flaps during reconstructive procedures involves facial artery and that's why it is important to know the anatomy of the facial artery coming to the clinical significance examination of the facial artery can be done at multiple points and the pulsation of facial artery can be felt about 1.5 cm lateral to the angle of the mouth or at the base of the mandible close to the antero inferior angle of the masseter examination of facial artery is performed during facial paralysis chronic rhinopharyngeal infection cerebral lesions following facial surgery and during certain surgical procedures so to summarize 
facial artery develops during the fourth and fifth week of embryonic life. There are two parts, the cervical and the facial part. It is a branch of the external carotid artery. Each of the parts, that's the cervical and the facial part, gives four branches. It forms anastomosis anteriorly, posteriorly and superiorly. And its function is to supply the skin and the muscles of the face. You can find a link to the Google form that has MCQs related to this topic. You can attempt those and try to find out how much you learned about the topic. So thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for update on new videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.